Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching the Earwax Mall compilation video today. Uh, now we can see, now these videos I haven't seen for a little while. So what I tend to do is when I'm ready for, for Waxvent this year, uh, I do tend to put a couple of videos aside ready to sort of get ready for those. Uh, but because I'm off this week, obviously I haven't seen any patients. So I've pulled a couple of the videos that I would normally keep aside for you for wax friends. Don't worry, I will replace them, I promise. Uh, but it just means I haven't seen these for a little while. So uh, this one here is quite a sticky, thick type wax. Uh, what is going on here? So we've got a standard size ulna tube in here. Just trying to get a grip on this front section of the wax. Give this a little bit of a wiggle. Oh, this is hanging on for dear life. Now, why is this hanging on? I'm really trying to pull this. It wouldn't surprise me if there's a bit of skin attached to the back end of this or some form of keratin in here because this is just not budging. Look at that. Oh, it's carrot. Right, okay, so this front section looks more like keratin now. Now I've lifted from the side. I think this was almost like a, a shell of keratin around the, pl the wax plug there. There we go. You can see that sort of tail of it going off there. It tends to put up a little bit more of a fight, a little bit more resistance. Yeah, you can really see where it's lifted here at the entrance. There we are. You can see at the bottom of the screen there, there's this whole kind of layer of keratin that's around that outside edge. Oh, that is holding on. There we go. We've just pulled that section. Now, is that the whole plug on there? Looking in that canal, I don't know if it is. No, it's not. There you go. You can see a very, very deep section. Let's give this, oh, that's a lot easier. So basically this, this sort of keratin shell was sitting around the outside edge, which is just stopping this wax plug from migrating out here. And it's dried out in place. That is that's hard. You can see the, the, the sort of consistency. You, the wax, when it gets older, almost has this, this sort of matte appearance to it. You'd have looking absolutely spot on there, though. You can see that sort of keratin layer at the entrance there, and then that much deeper section. So just one ear canal on that one, so that's two and a half centimeters, bang on one each. Uh, this is pre-new rulers, this one, guys. This would have been so sort of probably earlier in the year. But that's come away really, really nicely. No issues there. Uh, oh, very, very different. Now this is either going to be very soft wax or this is going to be a keratin shell. Again, this one. So what is going on here? We're not going to know until we start to suction this up. Now this might be a little bit of dead skin, that, that keratin material that's been softened with a bit of uh, olive oil. Yep. I would say that's more likely what this is than rather than soft skin because if a uh, soft wax, if it was soft wax, that would have just imploded straight into the uh, suction tube and you wouldn't really have got that pull. It just would have been like suctioning up thick milkshake. Um, always aim to try and spoil as many foodstuffs as we can do the video, guys, you know this. <laughs> um, I don't like milkshakes, so it's fine. So we can see we're just getting into this peel now of keratin look at that peeling away there now we've got the fine end on here now which is just uh helping to reduce any risk of clarinetting oh my goodness me this is going to be a difficult one to do unless this all just implodes into the suction tube uh this is going to be a difficult one to do it's peeling actually though it's peeling quite nicely you can see it's not leaving a lot of residue on the canal wall which is great, which means it's a really clean peel. There we are, another very soft section there. And just gonna lift this. I'm trying to bunch as much of this keratin into the suction tube as we can. Uh, that leaves less room for any clarinetting at the end of the suction. Oh, this is a weird consistency old stuff, this one. Uh, we've got this sort of dry skin layer and then we've got this kind of soupy, uh, wax consistency in the middle. It wouldn't surprise me actually if the patients used maybe uh, a little bit of bicarb in here. It, bicarb or peroxide does tend to have this sort of uh, bleaching effect on the wax, so the wax becomes either much much lighter in color, which is what you can see here, or it can in some cases go white. Uh, so we're just peeling and lifting.
There we go, it's working its way down the canal. Oh yeah, look at that keratin section there. You saw almost that sort of, that, that concertina effect where it kind of just came away and lifted in these sort of layers as it came to the outer part of the ear canal. Can we peel away from the side? Now, then we've got that, that lighter colored material with that deep red around it here uh, on your top left. So it wouldn't surprise me if this patient's had some surgery to their ear canals. That almost looks like a bit of scar tissue to me there, which also might well account uh, for why this skin isn't migrating out the way it should. We may have been looking with a patient with possibly with a previous sort of tympanoplasty uh, going on in there. Possibly. Let's have a little look. Gosh, this is really thick old stuff. Really, really thick old stuff. I'd be intrigued to see what this eardrum looks like now. I'm being very gentle here with this. Just trying to sort of just hover over uh, this skin and wax. Oh, that looked like a good bit of movement there. Keep an eye on that section. That whole section looks like it's going to go. There you go. It's definitely coming away. Oh my goodness, there's more behind it as well. This was a really sticky old piece of wax, this one. See if we can get a little bit more of a grip. Difficult, a fine end we've said before, great for uh, you know stopping any kind of clarinetting or for pinpoint accuracy. Rubbish for suction power though. Oh now that whole section, that whole section there just looked like it was gonna lift. Yep, okay, so I've got rid of a lot of the skin, so I've opted to go in here now with the standard size on the tube so I can see that section is lifting away. There it is, there it is. You can see the difference in the power, how that uh, standard size on tube with that slightly wider aperture there is bringing this out of the canal, it's drawing it down the ear canal here now. There we go, the whole plug is now moving. So we're using the skin against itself here, the keratin against itself. So what we're doing is we're holding onto that and we're pulling and it's because it's all sort of bound together and, and sort of sandwiched together that those pieces of keratin, what it's doing is pulling the whole plug in one go. Let's give this a little bit of a wiggle. There we go, be interesting to see this eardrum beyond. What does that look like? Yeah, you can see there's a lot of scarring there at the top. It wouldn't really wouldn't surprise me if that was a tympanoplasty. Um, so this is what came right. So we've got oh, just over a centimetre, half an inch there, guys. Uh, I can't remember whether I've said this to you before, but if uh, you do have any problems with your, in this video anyway, uh, if you do have any problems with your ears with that ear wax related, whether it's a hearing issue, tinnitus, anything like that, you can always check out a link to our bio. It's got a, a link to our website. You can send us a contact form, book yourself and book me to come and see us. Guys, we get loads and loads of people asking me to diagnose, um, you know, via email we just can't do it um i know a lot of guys send through pictures of the, the sort of like the usb pens they've sent through uh the clarity is not the best on those we can't guarantee you know we, we can't really diagnose any patient without physically looking in somebody's ears so it's a really difficult one so i, I know we get a lot of those we do just come back to you and say that we just can't diagnose it if you do have a problem please book yourself in the clinic. I can take a good look in your ears and find out what is going on. There's other tests we can do as well. Uh, so that would be great. If you don't mind doing that for me, that'd be fantastic. Uh, so you can, I know if you live obviously in a different country, <laughs> it's, you don't, you can't book yourself in, but get yourself along to a local practitioner and they will take a look in those ears and find out what is going on for you. Uh, this is really, really hard, chunky or wax narrow ear canal as well. So this is the standard size on the tube in here. Uh, I'm having to negotiate two bends just to get this out. So we've got to get around what is classed as the first bend just inside the ear canal and then you've got to get around this 
section here to the outer portion of the canal. Now this is dry wax, dry keratin. I think in fairness, this patient probably did try to soften their wax, but I think the canal entrance is so narrow, it wouldn't surprise me if the oil they use just sat on the surface. Uh, so this is coming away very nicely. Out this is coming, get that blob around the corner there. Out you go. And let's take a look. Oh, there we are. Look at that eardrum. Look, lovely and shiny there. Uh, I'd imagine there's probably a second ear canal. Yes, there is. Yeah, hard piece here. You can see that kind of little gap that's running down the one side and I'm having to push uh, the triggers back here just to get entrance to the ear canal. Little bit of a wiggle. I'm oh, just coaxing that out. Ooh, you can see that long line of keratin there. It's just using a fine end just to scoop all that up and start to pull this forwards. There we go, out that comes. And we're just giving this a little bit of a wiggle here. Bit more of a wiggle. <laughs> Let's try and get this around the bend. There we go. We've got a, a good grip on. Oh, that is a long piece of carrot in there coming away. It's just starting to pull the wax beyond it as well. So if I can get a grip on the wax plug and the carrot at the same time, which is what I'm doing there, out that pops. The carrot just got sucked inside the machine, just leaves us with the wax plug. What's going on beyond that? Ah, oh, there we go. Nice look at the eardrum there. It's all looking lovely and healthy. Oh my goodness me. Uh, four centimeters, inch and a half. You can really see some of those long pieces of keratin that were coming out there as well. Uh, well guys, thank you so much for watching our video today. Uh, don't forget if you do enjoy the videos, you can like, heart, share, follow and subscribe for us. Uh, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Uh, you'll see me again next week. I'll be back in uniform, so I'm back in work next week. Uh, not next week, this is Monday's video. You'll see me this week, <laughs> uh, but I'll be back in uniform for the rest of these videos. Uh, and as always guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears and take care of one another. I'll see you again real soon. Bye everyone.